Hi friends, this is Adam Marco, voice of the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders, and this is Duncan's Cup of Coffee. Last week, I had the chance to catch up with Oswaldo Cabrera, infielder for the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders. Oswaldo joined the club during the final stretch in 2021, hit five home runs over nine games with Scranton Wilkes-Barre, back on the opening day roster for the Rail Riders this year. Looking forward to having a chance to sit down and chat on Duncan's Cup of Coffee. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your day talking with us here on Duncan's Cup of Coffee. You've been so much fun to watch in the very limited time we've had you this season. Uh, I, I really want to get you started. Tell me a little bit about your background. When did you first start playing baseball? When did you fall in love with the game of baseball? The first time that I played baseball, that was so young, like three years old. I did. I, I mean, I mean, I, I don't remember anything about that moment, but my parents all the time tell me that I always want a glove, a, a ball, throw the ball, get a bat and swing it when I was young. So I start to play in the little league, like four, five years. And, and then from that time to now, it's the only thing that I love with my life, you know, the, the, <laughs> the only thing that I know to do and I enjoy to do. Wow. Who was your favorite player as you were growing up or who did you want to be? What player did you love or <laughs> players did you really like when you were a child? I got couples. I got couples, favorite players. <clears throat> One of them is uh, Omar Vizquel. He's a favorite player in almost half of Venezuela, baseball player, <coughs> baseball player, you know? Um, but right now, like uh, a guy that I can tell you is my favorite because I follow him. I mean, not pretty close, but I want to be a guy like him. It's Marwin Gonzalez. He's a guy who, who I want to be like, he, his tools that, that that guy have, I, I got. I want to, to get almost the same, you know? And other guys, Sadie Adrianza, no, no too many people know him, but I love his word ethic, his career, he's so consistent. <clears throat> consistent. And best two guys right now, they are my favorite guys. Talking with Oswaldo Cabrera in front of the <clears throat> Rail Riders. It's been an interesting start to this season. I, I gotta ask, we've played now four double headers. The weather is always an issue. It's been extremely cold. How difficult on a player is it to get to the ballpark to know you might not play and, and have the game pushed back a couple of days or a couple of months and to play all of these double headers within the first few weeks of the season? How difficult is that for you? It's not easy. It's not easy. <clears throat> um, especially because it's the, the weather is so cold right now. It's not easy to play, but we, we don't have any options, you know, we have just to play, we have to, to find a way to work, to get warm and just play, you know, we, we, we can, we can think like, I don't want to play or is this difficult for us because the game going to eat you, you know, going to, going to kill you. So our mentality is like, we have to do this, you know, <laughs> this clubhouse for Scranton Wilkes-Barre, you've got, some young guys like yourself and Esteban Florial and Oswald Barraza putting <clears throat> in with some veteran players like a Ronald Guzman and Greg Bird, Philip Evans, guys on the infield, Jose Peraza. You know, you've been around the Yankees for a while. Some of these guys are new to the system. How easy is it to get along, to welcome these guys into this family? And is it like you've been brothers the whole time? It doesn't matter what team they played for. I mean, we are Latin guys. Um, it, I think all like like Latin guys, we are like a family, you know. Doesn't matter if you are he is from Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, we're in Mexico, and we just create like that fam, you know, because we we speak the same language, and the same happened with the with the with the Americans like Greg Beer. He played for the Yankees a lot of years, and we just try to be the most the most together in that in that uh, clubhouse, you know? So it's that not hard for us, I think. We got our good vibes in the clubhouse and we love that. Finally for you, I was talking to Hayden Wisniewski last time and 
talked a little bit about his game day routine. For you, what gets you geared up for a game? You know, you're going to play, you've got nine innings, the weather's perfect, whatever it is. What, what kind of things do you need to do to make sure you're focused and ready come first pitch? My focus in the practice is, is too consistent. You know, I mean, I try to get better every day to see what happened the day before, if I did something bad, they find a way to get better every day. And in the moment when the game starts, just enjoy it because I got a long day training, you know, like focusing in some things, in some special things. And when the game starts, I just try to, man, I just work already. I just gonna enjoy what, I, what I'm gonna do, you know, it's just like, just play because I was working hard. And in the moment to the game, I can think a lot because, for me, if I'm, my mind is thinking a lot, I can be really good like I want to be, you know? So for that reason, I just, just in the moment of the game, just play. I have one <laughs> more question. Is so you, you be really good when you want to be. Five home runs over nine games in AAA last year. Have you ever had a stretch like that? Because that was, you hit 500, you hit five home runs, a grand slam against Rochester, like, to get your call up to AAA, and that's the impression you make, have you ever played a stretch of games like that before? Mm, not like that. That was one moment of my life. Like, I never be like that. But, I mean, sometimes we got a good moments, you know? So, I just enjoy that little moment, so that, that moment that you can get. Oswaldo, let's get those moments back. Immediately, let's yeah, have thank sure. You. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> thank you, my man. Sure, thank you, Oswaldo Cabrera, joining us on Duncan's Cup of Coffee. We'll check you out next time.